Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Yeah, I have it. You see it in the background. I have it. I have the game. I bought the game day one. And here is my review on JJK Curse Clash. It's like, guys, whoa. You're like, whoa, we are, you played it? Only a few hours and you, you have a review? Yeah, I review that quick. It's both good and bad. Let me tell you guys something about this game right here. All right, just, just off the loading screen alone, I heard some people complaining about stuff like this being lazy and things like that. I agree to an extent, but think about it like this. This screams to me that, hey guys, we had a low budget and we still wanted to give you guys something cool to look at. So this is what we gave you. I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and say it right off the bat. This was a low budget game. This was a something that Bandai threw the dice and they said, hey, see if you can make something out of this, all right? And that's what they did. And I feel like just off the loading screen alone, they're just like, hey, this is screaming to us like, hey, we're, we're trying to we're trying to amp stuff up. Maybe in future updates, we'll get something new. Aside from that, we're going to go ahead and talk about the actual, how do you say mechanics, but smoothness of the game. And when I mean my smoothness of the game, I mean just how smooth you can go through the menus and just do every menu. We're, let me show you what I mean. So, like, take a look at how smooth it is to get through some of these menu screens. Granted, this game doesn't have a lot to go in on. The story mode isn't that in-depth. But just take a look at it. some of these games when they when they launch, it's all glitchy, it's all sticky, and just little things like that. Again, stop, don't before you get your panties. Oh, he's talking about the menu screen. To, no, I'm not. I'm not amping it up. I'm just letting you know that there's effort in this. It's not y'all treating this like this is like a game that they just like. Oh, like ah, this is like, like no. There's some effort. They're trying to make something out of nothing so we're gonna get into some more of this when we get into the online versus battle this is literally the only problem we've been having lately and which has been a problem with every single game that launches you can't really get into a match and even when you do it takes a while so that's the only thing that's stopping this game on its release track which again games like demon slayer and even naruto storm connections launch with issues and bad stuff but if you're telling me you don't look at this loading screen right now and don't get the feel of jjk in your heart like, I, I just fell in love with trying to... I have to go watch the season again. Just looking at this little screen literally right here. All right? So, that's just that's just the first part. And again, giving some, some of the So, the smoothness, the, the HUD, stuff like that. Let's get into the actual gameplay. So, the gameplay for this game is actually not as rigid as people think. Yes, it is a little bit floaty. But the floatiness isn't a hindrance or hindering you in combat at all. The, the floatiness actually gives you, again, the feel like you're in a JJK cartoon. And sometimes they do have this thing where they kind of are floating in the air. It's, it's it's not unheard of. It's not like, you know, you know uncommon. It's a, it's, a, it's a cartoon, all right? So my point here is, is that with that being said, they're trying to emulate a feeling. And I think that's what we're missing. If you feel like I'm going too deep, if you feel like I'm doing too much, just click off the video. I know some of y'all be like, oh, this thing is like, he's doing sounds and stuff. I know what I'm talking about. Like, I, I know how I talk. I know, I know how y'all think. So I already know what y'all finna say. Anyway, when we get on into this game, again, the combat, again, it's more fluid than you think. It feels better than you think. The hits are actually feel crunchy. Not crunchy, but like, you know, like precise. Fighting with Gojo and different characters actually makes you play differently with each one. It's not always about hitting like you're fighting Yuji. Sometimes with Gojo, who, Gojo, who is my main, who is actually the best character in the game. I'm sorry. You have to kind of play a little bit more conservative and just kind of like knock away your opponent most, most of the time. And it really taps into different play styles in different types of uh, situations. And when you're doing this tag team synergy, which is another thing I have to get into, that is the big thing about this gameplay. Do not get into this game thinking you can 1v1. You cannot. You will lose. You will lose every single time. It is not a 1v1. It is not a Amani and Mono. You have to get uh, cooperation points, which, again, nothing I was getting into. You literally get cooperation points. These are things that you get when you actually attack opponent together in synergy. They give you extra bonus points when you're actually in the match. Like, it rewards you for jumping. You gotta jump these guys. Like, you gotta get on them, bro. You cannot slack off. Your teammate needs help. You gotta get on it. If there's somebody backing you off, try to hit a joint attack. A joint attack is what you know as a, like a... You can... If you compare it to Xenoverse, you compare it to, like, the uh, dual ultimates. It's literally what it is. But in this case, the person that kicks it off gets the animation. So, it, 
So if Gojo hits off an animation, or hits the kickoff, and the, my teammate goes in for it, I get the animation that Gojo gets or the finishing animation. If it's Yuta, same thing as him or whatever or whatever. And then after that, each person gets their own ultimate. These are ultimate attacks that cannot be blocked. I found this out the hard way when I think Sukuna got me with this ultimate attack. You have to dash away from these ultimates. These are not ultimates that you can just block. They, they, some of these ultimates can be punched through. Trust me, I know from experience. So with that being said, you also with on that same playing field, you get a bunch of curse techniques and you get a bunch of basic techniques. The basic techniques are your basic combos that you can use, which is usually square. Uh, and you kind of execute those and it actually executes a curse technique at the end of it. The other ones help you build curse energy. They don't necessarily deal damage, but they help you build curse energy. There's two other ones, I believe it's triangle and circle. And then you get like uh, X where you get some extra moves out of that and stuff like that. And heading extra inputs actually gives you some extra, like you can teleport to them sometimes. Sometimes you can like backdash and like hit them again. It's some really cool fighting mechanics that they incorporated to make you feel like you're in the JJK game, in my opinion. So with all that being said, the gameplay is a solid, 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 solid 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. The gameplay alone is enough to get this game. And I'm gonna, that's what I'm trying to get into this whole thing at the end here. If you're looking for the anime package, if you're looking for something that's going to satisfy all of the story mode and maybe, you know, online and stuff, don't get this game. This game is not for you. I'm going to be honest. This was easily... A 40 to 50 dollar buy for me but when you compare stuff to like 70 to 80 dollar games that are coming out now 60 dollars does seem like the middle bracket for this game it has great gameplay which is actually stellar it's actually among some of the best of the arena fighters among some of them we're not gonna say it's the best but it it's that good guys it's fun it's really fun and you can see some of our clips i'm having a lot of fun being animated with with being a cartoon character playing this game i love playing gojo he's my main right now so, with all that being said, with this gameplay review, I just want you guys to know that do not listen to the internet. Do not listen to people who say that this game is bad or whatever. Assess on your own. Look at the gameplay for yourself because I literally came up with this decision to buy this last night. I wasn't going to buy this game. I was going to get Suicide Squad to Justice League. But I made a business decision or what I like to say a content creation decision because you guys helped me out with this content and you guys wanted to see me play this. And I, I, it behooved me to play this. I did a three-hour stream. It was lit. It was great. And it was fun. Didn't get into much matches because the servers are poo right now. But other than that, playing the offline battles, such as rush battles and survivor battles, really, 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 really help. They are actually good at giving you that essence of going out and taking out cursed techniques and cur or cursed um, figurines and cursed figures and all that good stuff. Um, it, it, it really helps pass the time. You know why it gets why you wait in the lobby and even speaking on that you get to be in a fighting lobby like this is one of the best fighting you get to actually fight in a fighting lobby and train like at launch like some of these arena fighters don't have that at launch xenoverse 2 just added a fighting lobby like you know what i'm saying like stuff like that is great for the game it's great for the future of arena fighters it's a step in the right direction and i think we should give this a chance if we don't give games like this a chance then we will see a decline because they will see okay well you guys don't even see with the low budget stuff, how are you guys gonna do with the high budget stuff? Sparking Zero is probably gonna be one of the best games that we probably ever play when it comes to Arena Fighters, but JJK can hold us there, in my opinion. I'm gonna be playing this game. I have a lot of content planned for you guys, trust me. Me and my guy Tay, please give him a shout out in the, in the comments or just go follow him on Twitter and go subscribe to him. He's gonna be my buddy, he's gonna be my main duo as well as some of my other buddies. You gotta, you know what I'm saying? I got, I got more people, you know, I'm trying to bring more people on and more content creators. And stuff like that. So, again, with all that being said, leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and we're gonna get on some more JJK Curse Class content. Peace. Information is key. It is.